Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Bearman here. First video I've made on YouTube. I wanted to kind of uh, make a video talking about Feral Druids in World of Warcraft Classic. Uh, why I think that rolling one, especially at the time that we're in right now, uh, in the classic lifespan, I think it's just a really good idea. Um, you know, whether you're playing, uh, you know, Feral Tank spec or Feral uh, DPS spec, cat spec. Uh, I think there's a lot of viability when it comes to those classes. You know, obviously, uh, those specs, obviously, you kind of have to go a little bit try hard when it comes to uh, being a cat DPS druid and a raid that is actually performing at adequate levels. Um, for the most part, it's not too gear reliant. It's mostly reliant on how many crowd parmalers you're farming <laughs> every week. Uh, I just had my BWL raid where I act mostly as uh, off tank, you know, DPS on a few different bosses. Uh, but I'm tanking a lot of the time, so I don't really use too many crowd parmalers. Uh, but, you know, I went through probably about five or six today. Also did a rag kill, but, uh, only used one in there and that can be time consuming but I think that overall the class is just so fun to play um, Feral Druid DPS is so engaging in the rotation it's pretty quick and uh, you know keeps you on your toes and keeps you engaged um, when it comes to leveling a druid that's kind of why I think this is a great time to do it uh, Although ZG did just come out, there is some uh, extra content for you to do on your main characters. However, you know, a lot of people are getting a little bored of the game. Um, you know, they have their loot from BWL. They're just kind of waiting around. There may be some upgrades in ZG that they can grab, but that's not going to keep their attention for very long. Um, so a lot of people are rolling alts. Druids are great leveling characters. Uh, especially if you're going to le level Pharaoh spec. Uh, obviously, Restro Druids have their place in this game. Um, personally, I'm not a huge fan of Restro, but there's a ton of viability. Um, really fun. So that's also great, but personally, me, I mostly enjoy the Feral when it comes to Druids. And, you know, uh, with ZG coming out, one of the problems that Feral Druids, at least it seems to me, uh, were having in a lot of the earlier phases was being able to hit that hit cap in a perfect world where you're being given all the loot that you need you know hit cap is a pretty achievable thing when it comes to feral um however <laughs> in the real world uh, you're not really getting every piece of loot that you want to get and so you know it may take a little bit to get hit cap but with zg uh releasing that offers a lot more ways for you to get your hit um, than previously offered. So, for instance, this is my Feral Tank set, but I'll switch over to the DPS set for a second. Um, so, this is my DPS set. You can see I got have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 percent hit. So, I'm hit capped in my uh, DPS set. This did take a while for me to actually get the pieces, though. Um, the boots are probably the most difficult. You know, you can kind of replace these with uh, tarnished elven rings, to be honest, if you're starving for hit. Um, Thonny Loose Band is pretty easy to get your hands on, and if you're clearing through BWL uh, week by week, you are you're eventually going to get the ring. Um, and the neck as well, when it comes to Anixia, eventually you'll get it. Um, but yeah, the, the true strike and the, and the double sword, pretty easy to get your hands on as a press 60. Uh, you know, just run UBRS a couple times. Uh, it's a relatively low drop rate, but you can even farm the first boss if you wanted to. Get, a, you know, five man together and just smash through it and do five resets. Um, double sword, you know, not too expensive nowadays, so you should be able to afford that. Um, the tank set, though. I'm looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 percent hit. And uh, 
that's doable. It's not terrible. Um, you know, you have to balance when you're looking at your tanking sets uh, whether or not you want threat or mitigation. Um, hit is a very big part of that threat. Uh, so I typically think that, you know, rough sitting around roughly 6% is probably pretty good for that. But, you know, overall I really just wanted to kind of uh, make a video talking about why I think that Feral Druids are something that you should definitely be looking into rolling uh, if you haven't rolled one yet. Um, it's a great class. There's a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to being able to, you know, power shift uh, efficiently, you know, actually putting out the DPS that you should be uh, in order to actually contribute to the raid, but I rolled Feral Druid. I wasn't really sure what I was going to roll in Classic when, you know, I saw the release was coming. I kept thinking about it, couldn't make my decision up until the day the game came out. I was like, well, what am I going to do here? And uh, I had seen some videos about druid tanking. I had thought Paladin and possibly, but uh, I'm so glad I picked druid. Um, you know, <laughs> I haven't even leveled the second ult to 60 because I just love playing this druid. And uh, I don't really, you know, there's always stuff for me to work on. I have... Uh, Trying to get some of this PvP gear taken care of, uh, get some really good shoulders from uh, AB, and then from Silverwing you're getting wrists as well as legs. Um, those are really, really good tank items as well as some good DPS items in there, so those are things that I'm working on. Um, you know, that took a lot of time. Uh, getting up to Lieutenant Commander took quite a lot of time, so I've, I've had my hands full here, and you know, uh, I've been trying to stay on the gold grind. That's a little tough, but uh, I'm starting to grind back up there. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching the video, and I really just uh, hope that you guys can take, you know, take a moment out of your day to contemplate rolling a Pharaoh Druid. I think that you'll love it. Uh, it may not be for everyone, however, especially when it comes to PvP, uh, Feral may not be the optimal f PvP spec, but wow, it's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have a good rest of your night. Peace.